Okay, let's take uh, welcome back to Kerbal Space Program. Let's take a look at the Research and Development Center. I just had a crash, and I came back in, and, and that happened. So, yeah. Um, take a look at the Research and Development Center and the Administration Building. Uh, the Administration Building <coughs> is where you set your strategies up. Uh, I do use strategies that are kind of organic. They change uh, throughout my gameplay. Uh, first off, I start out with trying to get more finance so that I can upgrade my um, facilities outside. Uh, you know, the launch pad, the VAB. Uh, towards the end game, I use things like this one. Uh, it takes 90% of science uh, from your contracts. It yields 2,542 funds. So, you know, I'm taking science because uh, I don't need science anymore. I do have the Research and Development Center tech tree unlocked all the way and then the recovery transponder I usually have that on just in case I don't get close to um, Kerbal Space Center when I come back into land uh, this right here would help me um, but there are there are some other ones I have 66 I just came just did a mission on Minmus uh, Dietrich got a lot of stuff from the poles and typically we would have a lot more than this but because of this it's taking 90 percent of my science changing it into funds every time i i send something back over the radio communication so we only have 66 so right now we're going to sell off all 66 of this and we're going to get money for it uh, we're going to bump this up as far as it'll go that's going to be all 66.46 it says five but it'll give us 3,448 phones. So I don't need science anymore. I'll show you in a second. Yes. <clears throat> and that's that. Uh, you, can, you can change these as you want, however your gameplay. Typically, I go for the fundraising at the beginning, change it over you know, about halfway. Let's go back to the Research and Development Center. Research and Development Center, here's our tech tree. Um, I don't have any mods for the tech tree. I would like to get one. Uh, but that's in technology. Now over in the archives, this is where all of your science projects end up. Every one of them. Um, if you click on Kerbin, you're going to get situations. Situations. Surface landed. Surface splash down. Uh, any planet that would have uh, water on it. Flying low, flying high, in space low, in space high. So let's do, I don't know, surface landing. Well, before I get into that, look at this one right here. An atmosphere analysis from the tracking station. It's showing up, but because I did not take this experiment back to, I did not recover it, I didn't transmit it over a, a radio communication, what I did with this was I took it straight from the tracking station I walked over to the launch pad I loaded this onto a spaceship that went into orbit docked with the space station and transferred this over to the laboratory so anything that is doesn't have any value you can see I haven't collected any science yet it has no value I'm actually using that in the laboratory. Uh, so it's, it's continuously making um, science points for me. Now I know that the closer the lab in space, the closer the lab to Kerbin, uh, you don't get as much. If you can get a lab out to Minmus and take data out there, it's, 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 it gives you more data per day downloaded more data per day. So surface landed, these are all of the um, landed experiments that you can do on Kerbin. Let's go, to, well let's go to the Minmus poles. We just did the poles. Uh, let's go poles down here. In what biome? <clears throat> we have 10 experiments. While Dietrich was at the poles, landed we did these experiments. Now you can see none of them are blanked out because we have picked them all up and, and sent them over a communications radio. Then I picked them up again 
and we have them in a spaceship that's going to come back to Kerbin and dock with the laboratory up in space here in low Kerbin orbit and it will start running running experiments on that and getting more and more science data points for that. But you can see uh, here is the moon. We're just going to do all of them here. Surface landed in space high, in space low, 96, 31, 19 points. So, you know, I kind of go through here and I'm like, well, what do we have that's in high and not in, or in, what do we have that's in low that's not in high? And there are some experiments, that's, experiments that you can do uh, that's low. Uh, mystery goo, material study, there's probably a lot of those I haven't done. Material study. Material study. Material study while in space near the moon. And then I did one while in high. Just haven't done two of them. Sometimes if you do two, or I'll probably just sent this one back over the radio. And what I did with this one is I took it back to Kirby. So I may have run two uh, material study, the, the bay. Uh, I just took one of them back, didn't take the other one back. More than likely, I sent it back, grabbed it again, and took it up to the lab. And um, I'm researching at the lab that I ran the moon. Uh, here's Minmus. And I do like to look and see. See, here's another one. An EVA report from space just above Minmus, lesser flats. I collected this data, and I did not send it. I just, I must have accidentally um, didn't send it. Took it to the lab, installed it in the lab around Minmus, Minmus uh, Science Station. And it's, it's providing me data here. Uh, most of these I've brought back and landed. There's a couple that I just radioed back. There's a couple of gravity scans that I've just radioed back. Uh, this is the, the gravity scan from the Minmus Poles. So that one will stay there. But um, let's go, that's Kerbin. Uh, even the sun, when you go out to Duna, as soon as you get out of the sphere of influence of Kerbin, do some, do some experiments. Uh, here's some experiments of mystery goo that I didn't bring back. It's probably in a science lab that's hanging around Duna. I just took it over to Duna. Um, so that this is around the sun. And of course, it's in space high. Here's all the crew reports, EVA reports, mystery goo, temperature scan, atmospheric pressure, gravity, infrared telescope. And we got the uh, infrared telescope out there and a recovery of vessel. Uh, I haven't been to Moho. Eve. Uh, here's all of our science experiments on Eve. I've not brought a single one of these home. And I do not have a Kerbal out there. So all of these should be half full. Uh, it's in space low and space high. Midlands, Explodium C, the lowlands, the highlands, the peaks, the shallows. And I thought there was another one. Craters. I thought there was a crater on Eve. But I'm not sure. Uh, Duna. Oh, Eve has a... Eve has a uh, moon, uh, Gilly. Uh, don't do a lot out there. Of course, this was early on mission. I didn't have a lot of um, things I was doing out there. I probably didn't even put uh, temperature scan, atmospheric pressure, or gravity scan. So there was some instruments I didn't have put on there. Um, Duna. Here's my Duna. Uh, crew reports, EVA reports, Mr. Goose, surface samples. Um, most of, I do have a crew out there, so all crew reports and EVA reports are going to be sent back in full. As soon as I do them and send them, I do them again, put them in a laboratory that's out there in space around Duna, and the lab will start um, getting data from that per day. Uh, this is, here's the biomes. So I haven't landed on the biomes, and none of these will say landed. This just says in space high and space low. So Ike, been around Ike a little bit, uh, surface landed. Dres, I am around Dres, so I did land on Dres with a rover, and 
let's see, seismic scan from, and what I did was I found a position where it had Midlands, Ridges, and something else. I thought I thought it was on three. Lowlands, maybe? That's in space just above. Let's go surface landed. Ridges and the Midlands. Okay. So I hit in a location. I landed in a location where there was a border between Midlands and Ridges, and I drove the rover into the Midlands, did these experiments, all the Midland experiments, and then I drove over to the ridges and did the ridges experiments. So you got surface landed, Midlands, ridges, and these are the scans and, and things that I did. Now Jewel, I do have something around Jewel. No Kerbal, so none of these will be full. Uh, I did some over lathe as I came in to uh, orbit Jewel. Uh, here is Val. Tylo, got a little bit from Tylo. Bop, didn't get to Bop, didn't get to Paul. And of course, I have not been to Elu. But um, so Elu, Moho, and then a couple of the planets that are surrounding Jewel. Uh, Bop and Paul, I haven't been to. So yeah, that's where I'm at. I'm, I'm not a completionist, but I am getting what I what I really want to get uh, out of it. Uh, poles, definitely got to get to the pole of the moon. Of the moon. Uh, have I even landed on the, on the pole? Pole, it reports. Yeah, crew report from the moon's pole. So yeah, I've been to the moon. Moon pole. Minmus, I just got it. So, uh, poles of Minmus, surface landed. Just got that. So next will be, I don't know, Duna Poles maybe? Duna Poles? I don't have any landed. And there's polar highlands, there's polar craters. And that, this is a good one if you get uh, polar highland, polar craters, and then the poles. If you can get, if you can land your vessel near all three of those, you'll have a really good chance of getting the, um, uh, or, or a Kerbal, you know, land a Kerbal there. You can walk to those three <laughs> polar crater, polar uh, lowlands, and then the poles. Um, you just have to find with curb net. You just have to find the right, uh, the right thing. But anyway, sell your data. Um, after, of course, after your tech tree is is um, completed. Uh, let's take a quick look at the mission control just to see if I have any active. I think we might plant a flag on the moon. Uh, science data from space around lathe. I don't think I have anything around science data from surface of the moon. Yeah, we can go ahead and do that one. Uh, positions has all right. Science data from surface of Tylo. Don't have anything on Tylo at the moment. So that's the only one at the moment that I can see that we can do. Extract ore from Tylo and deliver it to Jewel. Hmm. Uh, and that just means put it in a Jewel orbit. Map eight asteroids endangering Kerbin with the Sentinel Infrared Telescope. Uh, reach the designated. I don't want to change my orbit. I'm not going to do any more of these. I've got a Sentinel telescope out there. So, um, so right now I have to get science data from the surface of the moon. And I think I do have a. small satellite on the surface of the moon. So I can do this real quick. Get this mission taken care of. Uh, is it you? Is it you? It's this one. Moon Science Midlands. So just go ahead and put a small uh, satellite lander down on the moon. And anytime you get that contract, just come over here and it's always dark when I come here. And it takes me forever to find the... There it is. Log temperature. Send it. And it'll give it to us. There we go. That's completed. So, you know, we got some more science. Point three. And anyway... Uh, you can see, you know, how we're expanding now. We're getting to Duna. We're getting to Jewel. Uh, have done anything on 
Tylo don't have any things, you know, up on the alarm clock at the moment. Just our current mission is bringing Dietrich back from the moon and docking her with a space station that's around uh, Kerbin. Uh, transfer that uh, science data over into the lab and uh, you know start recording. I didn't have a lot the last time. Uh, we're in the dark, right? Go ahead and go ahead and show you. But um, I had I'm I'm running out of experiments in the laboratory. So you know my space station is coming to you know its end of its life if she doesn't get back um, here to fill up that that science. And technically, I don't need any more science. I can just go do whatever I want to. But you know, playing the game, going for the full, uh, not a hundred percent completer. You know. Um, but uh, anyway, I hope you like this video. Thanks for watching.